Hi, welcome to Threadhead TV. This edition is about how to take a skirt slit that is too high for your comfort and reverse that slit. In other words, we're taking a beach appropriate dress and making it office appropriate. In my case, it meant reversing that slit by five and a half inches. This is a super easy fix that you can do in 15 minutes. With your dress or skirt on, pin the spot where you would like your new slit to end. Take big steps in your newly pinned skirt to make sure that while you walk, you won't be confined. Measure the length of the opening to your pin and cut strips that are one inch longer than that. I made mine two inches wide because I wanted extra fabric to be able to go through my serger. Your finished strip needs to be only about one and a half inches wide. And you can use a zigzag stitch to finish your edges. You'll notice that the fourth side of this rectangle I did not need to finish off. And that is because I cut my rectangles on the salvage or the finished edge of the fabric. You can also finish off that fourth side of your rectangle by making a hem, or you can fold your fabric in half and put the fold end at the bottom of your slit. Turn your skirt inside out and press, making sure you get out all wrinkles. Then we will use what's called steam -a seam and this is quarter inch steam -a seam on a roll. This will enable you to iron on the strips of fabric that you just made. It's about a half inch of steam -a seam above where the original slit starts. Peel the paper backing off the steam -a seam Then you will place your rectangle finished side at the bottom. So I've turned my dress right side out and I want the right side facing up. Make sure that none of the layers are caught underneath. And I'm going to start at the bottom here and I'll end at the bottom as well. And now I'm gonna find this line for the manufacturer Sewed. I'm going to sew right on top of that line so that you really can't even tell. Keep your needle in the down position when you pivot those corners of your rectangle so that your fabric doesn't jump. And you're done. It was that simple. Thank you so much for joining me on Threadhead TV. Come on back for more great projects and easy fixes. Hi people!